Tanya here. Listen up, we got a couple commie dreadnoughts in the harbor looking for a special sightseeing tour of the Hudson River. I say we give them a very special view of the bottom first. I offer special invitation to citizens of the United States from the great Soviet Union. See your liberty, how she lies broken before you. In but a moment's time, your once powerful city of New York will follow in her footsteps. The choice is yours. You can continue to mourn your past or surrender and join us in the great Soviet revolution. Good work, Commander. We're back in contact with the fort. Tanya has sent over intel on the location of an important Soviet supply base in the area. General Carville would like you to dispose of it ASAP. Oh, keep up the good work, sir. I've located a group of rocketeers in Colorado Springs. They're ready to move in on our orders. Whatever it is we're paying you, it isn't enough. I don't know how you got us out of this mess, but I'm extremely grateful. After this is over, I'm going to promote you to whatever you like, except president. <laughs> Keep an eye out, Commander. I need you out there. Commander, we have just received an intelligence report on Soviet activity in the Chicago area. This is a psychic amplifier. Our theory is that if turned on, it can do to the country what the psychic beacon did to Washington. General Carville wants you to find it and destroy it. Commander, they never saw us coming. That was splendid. Hear me, you foul American phantom, wherever you are. You can work your armies like a puppeteer all you want, but this is my play. Here is the city that you have saved. Without the psychic amplifier, which you so rashly destroyed, I no longer have much use for it. Behold the power of Mother Russia! Sir, be on the lookout for Soviet guard dogs. They've been released to sniff out our spies. Looks like we're in. Our spies have infiltrated the Soviets' battle labs and relayed the specs on their silo locations. I'm ready to rock and roll, Commander. So let's take out those silos and head on home. It's getting a little chilly over here. Yeah, Commander, I have something very interesting to show you. Please, Peter, I want you to take a look. You see, when Prism Tower X, it is placed close to Prism Tower Y. The energy produced by the central tower will be increased by a factor of X over Y times 2. Beautiful, yeah? <laughs> Sir, the Soviets have released their terror drones. If our tanks get too close, these mechanical arachnids will tear them to shreds. Sir, this is not looking good. If we don't get relief soon, we're finished. Commander, we think you're going to like this one. It's Einstein's prism tech on wheels. The boys at the lab call it a prism tank. Careful not to burn yourself. Pick up camera! Pick up the camera! No, no, here. Uh, on me, you thug! Good. Hey, Commander. Don't you think it's time you call it quits? Mm -hmm. Why fight the inevitable? It's not too late to join the winners. <laughs> Let's go! Dasvidaniya. Commander, the SEAL team has liberated a group of local freedom fighters. They were kind enough to give us the location of a Soviet research facility in exchange for the opportunity to fight by our side. I didn't think you'd mind. 
I have something very exciting for you, Commander. It is called my Mirage Tank. It has the wonderful ability to take on the exact appearance of any organic object it targets. Observe. You see? Isn't she wonderful? Commander, I've established an uplink with SpySat. It should be coming online as we speak. Wait, wait. Apocalypse tanks. On the roll. Be careful, sir. Commander, I thought I'd seen everything, but this takes the cake. You guessed it. Mind-controlled squid. Intelligence informs me that effective countermeasures involve specially trained dolphins, which are now at your disposal. What's next? Killer whales? Good luck, Commander. This message goes out to hidden Commander. Who continues to dance, but ceases to amuse. Now is time to submit to Soviet Supremacy Commander. After you feel pain from my nuclear bombs, you will wish for another chance. I warned you we would destroy you, Commander. Now that warning will... What? Disabled. The missiles have been disabled. But uh, <laughs> ah, your time is up, Commander, and you will be crushed very soon. Commander, reports from our Chrono troops in the field indicate you are all clear. They're ready to receive your MCV. Well, Commander. I have learned it is never a good idea to play around with the forces of nature. But with this evil Romanov running loose again, we have no choice. This weather control device provides very advanced manipulation of the weather patterns. These are God's toys, Commander. Use them wisely. Comrade General, General Vladimir is calling for you to clear out coastal defenses. It could be a good time for you to build up your naval base. Now is the time to strike! Glory to the motherland! But sir, we are not ready. Not enough submarines are built for- Nonsense! I could destroy this American Navy with a little rubber dog. General, it appears we might have underestimated Allied forces. What are you waiting for, General? Do something! Comrade General, the Premier requests that you capture the pathetic capitalist shrine in New York called the World Trade Center. After you overwhelm the American defenses in the area, plant a psychic beacon to secure our control. Comrade General, you may wish to move your psychic commanders closer to the enemy. You will find their persuasive power very useful. Comrade. I have just received a demonstration brief of our terrifying new anti-armor weapon. They are affectionately referred to as terror drones. Do you like, comrade? I thought you might like to play rough in battle. Soviet General, we have made our stronghold in your motherland. Prepare for your defeat. If you are prepared, the general, your strike team is assembled in Paris. I always like the city of lights. Pity we cannot be there in person when the lights go out. I think you will like this, general. The demolitions expert known as Crazy Ivan is among your forces here. He will be well suited for the task at hand. Comrade General! We must move closer to the tower, if we are to secure a good charge. 
Comrade General, I detect Republic of Korea reinforcements en route. If they reach Pearl Harbor, it will be very difficult to overpower the Allied fleet. Brilliant move, comrade. With Kauai Airport in our hands, we can send paratroopers anywhere you desire. Comrade General, we must be closer to the Tesla coils to charge it up. A good charge will help increase the range of our weapons. I think we should send a few dogs to sniff out enemy spies. Something you should be aware of. General Carville has stationed a truck near one of our villages. He has been broadcasting capitalist propaganda in an attempt to turn our own people against us. You are a fool, General. Yuri is playing you like a puppet. You will never capture General Vladimir. Listen to me, you Soviet scum. You can root around all you want, but you'll never find me. And you'll never take me. You call yourself a general? <laughs> We're laughing at you, Red! They are even more powerful than they are obedient. The immense strength of my squid giants is only vulnerable to the specially trained and enhanced allied attack dolphins. Comrade General, the weapon is powering up. We are dangerously close to it. Be careful, comrade. Be warned, Comrade General. Yuri has rebuilt the Iron Curtain. It will make his troops invulnerable for a period of time. No one will ever catch us off guard now, Comrade. I have obtained plans for the Psychic Sensor. This device will warn us of any troop movements within its range. We can sleep well once again. Comrade General, I must warn you. The Allied Chronosphere could be our undoing. The first step is a swift naval assault. They will not be expecting us here, and that will be their undoing.